Hey everyone, awesome what's on fun kids. So I just wanted to give you an update on a few changes that have uh, sort of happened. So these are our heating pads, pretty popular item for DIY builds. It's uh, uh, also commonly what we use in our uh, our built-in batteries. Uh, but there's a few changes that have sort of happened. So from going forward, all of them will come with the XT30 adapter installed. Um, a lot of customers did not like having to solder this on there, so we're going to just start including this already soldered. Um, other sort of feedback we got is people really did not like having to, you know, tape uh, the pad. So now they have the adhesive surface on the other side, so this is going to make installing them much, much easier. So um, they're eventually going to come up on the website. Um, they should be available soon. So the, um, that's sort of an update on the in-between cell heaters, which seems to be becoming more and more popular. In fact, um, um, it's originally when we started, the sidewall heating pads were popular, but now it seems everyone has sort of shifted and prefers the in-between cell heaters, which is fine. So this is gonna make it easier to install. Now, to, since there are two, we also have this two-in-one adapter. And let me show you how it looks like with this installed. All right, so with it installed, you'll have sort of a two-in-one adapter. Now, if you're using our uh, V4 standard with heating, this is the way you'll connect them. But if you also have your own sort of solution and you just want to have one solid connection, you can connect this point. But it's going to make it removable and uh, diagnosable. So that's a little bit about the updated version of the in-between cell heating pad. It will have a slight price increase to compensate for additional uh, things now that there's adhesive back and there's a plug. So there is gonna be slight increase in price. We still have a few of the original ones and they'll still be available for sale, but for, for the most part going forward, this is how it's gonna uh, sort of be. Um, as for what we've been up to, making more kits. This is one with the EVE 230s and we're sort of experimenting, uh, going all the way up to a 4.5 millimeter shim but I think we'll actually end up having to go to something like a, uh, probably closer to a, a eight millimeter shim. So that's gonna be interesting when that uh, sort of gets ready. But uh, that's a little bit of what we've been up to and we'll have some more videos coming up soon. But I did wanna let you know that uh, the in-between cell heatings is gonna get an update. It's gonna make it easier to install. You won't have to mess around with Kapton tape. This is self-adhesive. And uh, understand, you have to have a special preparation done to allow something to stick onto silicone. So it's this is not as simple as saying, oh, I'm just gonna get some 300 adhesive paper, put it on there. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. The silicone has to be specially prepared to where it can allow adhesive to attach to it. But once attached, it's super nice, super easy, goes on there. You won't have to worry about Kapton tape anymore. And uh, like I said, uh, this should be available uh, in about a week or two, we have stock in. We just need to organize it, and as soon as it's available, you'll be able to order it online. Thank you.